everybody. Uh, welcome back to our digital-only series called Corrections. Uh, I want to stress again, this is not on television. It looks like it's on television, but it is not. I say that because uh, one of the comments the last time we did this was, how the f is this on TV? <laughs> Which is a question that is both rude and fair. <laughs> so again, this is digital only. Um, we made a mistake uh, earlier in tonight's Closer Look. It was pointed out to me. I said journeyman instead of journeyman. Right, like fireman. Right, journeyman. Uh, a journeyman would be like Steve Perry. <laughs> Someone said I used embattled wrong. I used embattled uh, to mean, you know, somebody uh, in controversy. And I was pointed out to me that it means someone who is actually ready to fight is embattled. So I looked it up on the old Merriam-Webster. And indeed, the first definition is, uh, is ready to fight. And uh, the second was the way I used it engaged in controversy. So that person really the <laughs> <up>. <laughs> Because sometimes words, you know, mean more than one thing. And if you want to live in a word world, <laughs> you want to live in a world without homonyms, that's fine for you. Probably walking around being like, that's a pitcher of water and that's a baseball thrower man. <laughs> so battle means two things. Pogs, we mentioned pogs last night. And someone, this isn't really a correction, but they pointed out, they said, I don't think you wrote that because I know how old you are and I know when pogs came out. And I don't think you were a 31-year-old pog enthusiast. And it's true, I did not write that joke. And then I did the math and I'm happy to report that John Mulaney was a 22-year-old pog enthusiast. <laughs> A lot of our corrections are based on things I corrected in other corrections. So that's, that's one of the core problems of this whole endeavor. <laughs> I said the Prime Minister of Ireland, someone said it's actually not the Prime Minister, and then they gave me an Irish word, and then I said it, and I said it's not Prime Minister, I said Taisha, and then a bunch of people said it's not pronounced Taisha, it's pronounced Tisak, which I'm sure is close, but probably still a little wrong. And I, the reason I came up with Tasha is on YouTube sometimes, uh, you can go and has, type in like how to pronounce, and they spelled it, and then they do a thing where like a, like a swirl comes in as the words on the screen, it goes, and it went like this, it went, Tasha. So I just wouldn't trust those things. <laughs> also, it bums me out because we do, like all late night shows, we have an old Irish poet on staff. <laughs> who's supposed to look out for stuff like this, but old Seamus, well, he was in his cups, so to speak. <laughs> and I even went to him, like, how do you say this? And he was like, or, oh, I just like going on about verdant fields. And once he gets going about those, and he's like, I'll tell you for a wee taste. And I'm like, not now. I always want a wee taste. What else we got? Oh, so this is a, this one's really had a, a long tail in so far as corrections on corrections. Ben Franklin's wife, her name is, was Deborah. And I pointed out that seemed very anachronistic to me, Deborah in colonial times. Then a bunch of people pointed out Deborah's actually in the Bible. And so then I said, that's crazy. That would be like if uh, Candace was in the Bible. Candace is in the Bible. <laughs> Candace is the, uh, the queen of Ethiopia, so how about that? Then somebody else was like, bigger problem, bud. Ben Franklin and Deborah weren't married. This is a true story uh, based on what I read on Wikipedia. <laughs> Deborah marries another fella, okay? She met Ben Franklin, he proposed. Deborah's mom said it was a no-go. She marries some other fella who then is a bad guy steals her dowry, goes to the West Indies. This is all true, according to Wikipedia. Goes to the West Indies, and they don't know what happened to him. Some people say he died, but she couldn't legally marry Ben Franklin because of bigamy laws. So they were, uh, they were common law married, 
their whole life because of that. And his name was even more, her first husband, his name was even more anachronistic than Candace or Deborah, Luke Skywalker. Um, we've been talking a bit about Lord of the Rings, and I've given a, a bit of stick. But I want to stress, just because I didn't love those books does not mean I begrudge anyone the right... F I want all people to love the books that make them happy. But I did, I did mention uh, one of the books, and I said it was Return to the King, and it is Return of the King. And I think in my head, I said return to the king because I was thinking about how fast I returned it to the library. <laughs> so I think a pretty good week. Um, and again, this is sort of an experiment that we're trying here, which I believe the best way to engage with the internet is to read and respond to everything. <laughs> Just on a mental health level. But I want you to know, you can criticize me, but I am ready for those criticisms. I am both embattled and embattled. <laughs> and now, I'm just going to stare at the camera until Amber says that's enough. That's enough. That's enough, Seth. <laughs>